Hi, this is a quick tutorial on how to use Wee Video to create a podcast. The first thing you'll do is once you've logged in with your Google account, you'll go to Create New. When you go to Create New, um, you can just start from recording. It really doesn't matter video or recording. It will get us basically to the same spot. Once you log in, you can say what you want to record from. We're just going to say from our webcam. We'll set it up and then uh, we won't have to worry about it anymore, okay? And I'll just show you how to get to narration instead of recording, but we'll set it up. So we'll go to next. You want to make sure you allow um, to use the microphone and the camera. So allow and allow. And if it works, it'll start recording right away, but I'm going to cancel because we're not actually going to use that part. So here we go. So you're in Wii Video, and you're going to see if you've never used Wii Video before, you're in My Media and there's nothing there. When you're ready to start recording your podcast, you will click on Narrate. Narrate will be the audio. So once I click on Narrate, it will load my microphone. I'm going to click to record. It gives me the countdown of 3, 2, 1, and it does the recording. Right now would be the when I'm starting. Um, it does the recording right in Wee Video, so I don't have to upload my MP3 um, and my audio. It's already in there. So I'll record my video or record my audio as I'm reading my podcast. Read your podcast at a nice, inviting tone or pace and tone, and then when you're done reading your podcast you'll click stop don't worry about making it perfect you're always going to be able to edit it so you can press play to listen to it and if you want to record again you could record again or you can go right to save so let's say we're going to save it we're good with it and again i'm just going to reiterate it does not have to be perfect so you're going to see that it's a voiceover and you are able to see that and listen to right here how do you listen to it if you go over to the right hand side, you can and press play when I'm starting. and then the audio is going to go and I can listen to myself. Now, let's say there's a point right at and I can toggle this bar over that right here. I just stuttered a lot or said um a number of times, which I'm trying to get out of the habit of. I can simply highlight. Notice that the orange line is now around that voice recording. And I can edit it. And if I wanted to cut a part out, I can use the scissors, click on the scissors, and notice now it's in two parts. And let's say I wanted to stop it from the nine seconds up to, um, it was 10.06 or something like that, and I can clip it again. And then this section that I want to get rid of, I can just click on that, highlight the section I want to get rid of, use my delete key or backspace key on my keyboard, and it's gone. And you're going to see that now there's that space in between. If I want to um, close that space up, I can always bring that over and I can see how that, that level or see that cut if that works or do I need to add music or something else in between which I can do. So again, every time I want to play it, I come back over to the right. Now when you're creating a podcast, remember it is good to leave some blank space. So if you paused while you're reading, um, a lot of times that pause is important for emphasis or your listeners to, to think about what you're saying maybe a thought you shared. Um, also, when you're reading that aloud, think of maybe there's some points where you want to add um, sound effects or music. One of the great things about um, um, we video, it has a number of things within the audio tab. So if you go to the audio tab, um, you can find that there's a number of free music parts and there's also premium music parts where you can actually choose. Think of the theme. What are what is the what is the meaning behind your podcast? And you're going to want to make sure you pick a theme music that connects with that meaning, with that mood. And I wanted I take it, I click, and I drag it all the way down into my audio one. And if I was going to listen to it, I would hear my voice and the music together. And um, probably that's not how I want it. So I might want to move this over, move this one and this one together, move it over so I can have my intro. And within there, let's say I'm going to cut that music part way just after I start, right after I introduce it. So I'm going to cut it there and I can then delete that ending. So I just have the beginning of my theme music. If I go to the three dots in the audio level, I can show my audio levels 
and I can control these audio levels. Every time I, I click and put a, a mark in there, I can usually, it's the, the part you want to bring down is at the very end when you're transitioning, so bring that down. And then let's say I wanted to show the audio levels here, three dots again, I'm going to show levels. And let's say here, it's way up at the top. Maybe there's part that is too loud. One of the things, uh, I don't know if you've ever listened to a video or a podcast when it switches um, the general, like um, being able to listen to the audio at one level is really important, but part, sometimes that's you adjusting that the audio levels um, on your, the sound levels on your um, editing tool. So again, that's all there. And again, if I'm going to use the last stand, this is my theme at the very beginning, I really should be consistent in using that at the end as well. So maybe at the very end, I'm going to put that theme music again, and maybe I know I'm stopping, I'm cutting it maybe right here. Um, and maybe it's like a really choppy cut. So again, this is where I'm going to mess with those audio levels, find those audio levels, and I'm going to slowly add another dot and then drag that straight down so it's nice and quiet at the end. So there's that transition. So again, how did I get to the music? I went into audio and then I looked for my music in there. And the other thing you might want to use, um, the sound effects, there are sound effects in here as well. Notice that there are themes and folders. So Maybe it's specific to your, uh, maybe you want to look for something in nature or people, maybe it's traffic that you're trying to emphasize. Sound effects, remember, should never take away from your podcast. They should only enhance the podcast. And sometimes that might be a sound in the background where you're going to transition that, that audio to be really low. Maybe it's not going to like me. One second, it's probably. Um, so if I wanted to play that, I could listen. And you notice how you can't hear me very well. So I'm going to grab those audio levels and I'm going to bring that way down. And I'm also going to cut it right after here because this is the section that maybe I'm saying would be it would be enhanced with that background. And then as I listen to it, I'm going to be able to listen to that sound effect and hear that um, the sound effects and my podcast together at the same time. One thing you might want to know too is that you can change your video like these other tracks. Um, you can change those or add another audio track. Like let's say I want an audio too. Maybe I want my sound effects in one audio track, my music in another audio track, and my voiceover in the other one. I can then add that um, audio track and notice that it's here. So I could add, maybe I want to always put my, 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 um, sound effects in a different one. Totally up to you. But if you're layering things, you have to have multiple tracks. How did I get to this bottom part? I'm scrolling up and down in the storyboard area. So again, there's a little spot on the right hand side that you can toggle up and down. You do not have to fill all of those. Notice there is text if you want it. But we are going to be finishing as an MP3 because we're just doing the audio. Once you're done with your podcast, make sure you listen to it one more time. So I'm going to toggle that blue um, marker all the way over to the left, and then I'll press my play button and just listen to it one more time. Try to not adjust your volume once you've started so you can make note uh, about whether you had a good steady level of, um, um, of audio throughout your entire track, which is really important. When you are done, you're, you've decided that your podcast is definitely tells that story you want to tell. It evokes the emotion you want to share with your listeners. You've added the um, music and momentum, uh, music and sound to be able to build the momentum where you need it, to keep your listeners engaged, to whatever, it, whatever you need to do. Once you're done, you're going to go to the right-hand side and click on the finish. So when you click on finish, you're going to see that you can have a title. I just keep my generic for now, but you're welcome to change that. And then you're going to notice that when you export it, one of the options is audio only. I'm going to choose audio only. And notice that one of those is the Google Drive audio. So I'm going to choose Google Drive. I'm going to then export my audio. And it usually takes a little bit for your audio to queue. You will receive an email when it is queued. 
when your podcast has been um, published, you're going to notice that there will be an export um, audio that you can use. Now, if you use one of our school accounts, that will be a protected um, link. Uh, so that will just be accessible to your teacher and if they open it up to the other students in the class, but otherwise just to the teacher, which will be important. And um, there's a number of things you can do to share it. You can just copy that link and share it. Notice there is the Google Share as well. I just usually copy the link to share it and paste it, and you're going to see that it's all ready. You might want to play it just one more time to say, yep, this is what I want. Um, and you'll just see it just looks a little bit different, that audio. Um, I hope that helps. If you have any questions, please do let me know.